As Ebola cases have spread in West Africa and turned up in more countries around the world, more readers have written in to ask well with questions. Some readers have asked, if I get on an airplane, what are my chances of getting Ebola? And the answer is almost nil. Some top experts have said, look, if I were on an airplane and the person next to me had Ebola, I would not assume I would catch it unless that person vomited on me or bled on me. There was a Liberian American who flew from Liberia to Nigeria while five days from death. He was seriously ill. He was vomiting on the plane. There were 200 people on the plane. Nobody else got infected. So it seems extremely unlikely that anybody would get infected on a plane. There's been a lot of controversy about whether or not the Ebola virus could go airborne. Experts have argued, look, Ebola has been around since 1976. That's practically 40 years. There's never been any sort of flu-like spread of it. If there were, there would be millions of cases. It would be unstoppable. Ebola is not like that. It is clearly not airborne in the same way that flu is. There might be some extraordinary circumstances in which in some cases it's transmitted by air, but it seems to be very unusual. A lot has been made of the Reston, Virginia incident in which a virus that is not the Ebola Zaire virus that's going on now, but a, a similar one called uh, Ebola Reston, came into an animal facility in, in Reston, Virginia and began spreading from monkey cage to monkey cage. People who worked there at the time believed that it was spread through the air, that it wasn't, but of course there's a possibility it was spread as food bowls might have been moved from cage to cage, as workers clean cages, so there's some controversy, but there's no proof. Because of the dog in Spain, a lot of readers are extremely concerned about whether or not pets can catch Ebola, pets can transmit Ebola, what pets can get Ebola. Ebola is an animal disease. It's only spilled over into humans recently. It's been experimentally given to pigs, guinea pigs, horses, and goats. It does not seem to be found in any felines in Africa, so it's suspected the cats may be safe. On the other hand, there's pretty clear evidence that dogs probably do get Ebola. In the case in Spain, the dog was not tested for Ebola. You know, there's no off-the-shelf test for Ebola in dogs. The dog was, was quarantined and then killed on the presumption that it might have been infected. One study in Gabon, in Central Africa, by French scientists, looked at hundreds of dogs, and what they found was antibodies to the virus. Not live virus in the dogs, but antibodies. So that suggests that dogs can get the disease, but don't necessarily get sick or die of it. Does that mean they can't transmit it? We don't know. There are diseases where you can get silent carriers who don't get sick themselves, but they can pass the disease on to other people, which kills them. So we don't know enough about dogs, but you would not like to create a reservoir of Ebola inside North America. You wouldn't like raccoons, for example, who get, sometimes get into fights with dogs, uh, to be carriers of the Ebola virus the way they are carriers now of the rabies virus. There are a lot of questions here. There's a lot of debate going on. So we'll try to bring you the answers as, as best we can figure them out.